What's happening, y'all? Creole Die Case. Today we're on the hunt. First stop, Walmart. See what they got. Right, y'all, what's happening? So, making that little evening stop by a family dollar. And they put out some uh, cake cases over here. So, I'm going to take a look through these pigs and see what they got. I think I came over here one time and they might have restocked with some keys that last time I came to. It looks like they put out some more because I just seen a uh, black Silverado. I know the last time I came, I had seen a Silverado and a Land Cruiser. So, they definitely had restocked. That's the Silverado. Let's see what else. See what else we can pull. They got a regular Super right there. I'm going to uh, cut the video right quick so I can see what's back there. And they got a Mustang back there, but... Unfortunately, that's the main line. Unfortunately, we got the main line right there. So it looks like uh, probably going to just be leaving with that Silverado. Take a quick look right fast. I had to put on my flashlight because I couldn't see what the hell they got back there. They did have another Supra all the way back there on this peg as well. So I'm going to try to look at this one with y'all without dropping anything. Yeah, they ain't got nothing on that one either. And they ain't got nothing up here either. So I'm going to just leave it my little Silverado. And I bought me another roll of tape so I can ship some stuff. See, they got some matchboxes right here, but looks like they ain't got nothing. So they ain't had no regular treasure hunt either. Let me see, that's another Mustang. Oh, that's the same one I just saw. So yeah, no regular treasure hunts, no land cruiser. Let's see, they do have some matchboxes at the end of the aisle. Blue Ford Runner. I don't think they got anything here that I'm interested in. Would be nice to find a super cheese. Okay, it's all good. Ran into the new neon speeders, y'all. Let me show y'all what cars they got right quick. So uh, this is the whole set. They got the Integra, the 510, the Skyline, RX-7, 350Z, S2000, the Eclipse, and the uh, Silica. Yeah, so happy I can't make this little stop. Uh, besides the neon speeders, really, they ain't got nothing else on the pig. So, uh, yeah, that being said, we got to continue the hunt for those because we know that those are dropping down in the area till next stop folks our general they do have some new cars on the page what is this in case yeah in case and they got some matchboxes as well but i don't think that's anything that we're looking for i don't think so don't look like it but it don't hurt to take a look. Is that, I always get that one kind of confused with that regular treasure hunt Dodge Ram. Nope. Ain't got nothing here, y'all. Now we at a Walmart location this time, y'all, and they dropped some pea cases in this little dump bin. I already went through the middle one and the one on the left right there, and uh, so far I only found one treasure hunt and a bunch of uh, mainline, the five tens. So I don't know, hopefully I get lucky. It looks kind of fresh. They don't look fresh, so I don't know. Nope, unfortunately, probably just gonna be leaving with just this regular treasure hunt, y'all. No suit, just a bunch of mainlines. Until next up. 
So as I'm hitting the aisle, I'm kind of digging in this bin that looks like uh, some trash. There's a bunch of mixed stuff in it, but then look what I find just sitting in there. A little lowly Ford runner. See? Hey, and I found a little donor drifter treasure hunt. So yeah, I better go through this little bin and see what else. Look, uh, another one, y'all. What? You think somebody put that right there? Thinking it was gonna come back for it? I'm not thinking that old crazy would have found it. Or well, maybe it just fell. I do have this one right there too. But the pigs right there is some main line, so I don't know why they would be in this bin like that. But it don't hurt to make sure. They ain't got nothing else good in here. I see a neon speeder, that's BMW. Oh, that's it. Hey, that's cool. All right, y'all making a quick stop by Walmart this morning and uh, ran into the Sweetheart M2 set. Uh, they got the full set. Got the Silverado, or Cheyenne, the Chevy van. Got the Bronco. What is this? It looks like a Charger, a Challenger. Got the Ford Coupe and the uh, Volkswagen down there. And they got one truck missing, which is the other Cheyenne. So I don't know. Me and the daughter buy uh, another Dollar General right now. I think there's some leftovers from that uh, shipper that they had put out at one time. This is Q case. So this is an old Q case. So the Super would have been that Camaro. But unfortunately, that's just the main. But it don't hurt to take a look and see what else they got left. Or you never know, they might have put out some new stuff. Still don't hurt to take a glance. I've never found this one in a while before. That's one Super that I, I think I actually want to find because I've just been hunting for it. I never had no luck. Nope, they ain't got nothing. Nope. Nothing over here, folks. Oh, yeah, another Camaro right there. Dang. Thought I got lucky, y'all. Right, y'all, so we're doing a little night hunting right quick. Uh, I see they put out some more Porsche sets, and uh, let's see, they put out some more matchboxes as well. Uh, this is 2024. I just don't know what series, because this one does have the white Porsche in it. And I've seen also they put out these uh, Matchbox Mini uh, Cooper, I guess the Mini series. They only have what? I think it's just, yeah, they only have three cars. This is the uh, 2010 uh 2003 and they also have the 2011 uh not something i'm into so i'm gonna leave those there but uh let's go take a look and see if they drop some more premiums all right y'all we on that late night tip Hitting up some Walmarts. Let's see what this one got. Y'all, look what they got at this location. Bruh, that is crazy. They should put a super all the way up there. They do have a comet up there. That's a regular. My gosh. And check out the car bed. Full of cars. But I'm not even wasting my time looking through this, I ain't lying. I just want to see what they got on here. Pretty much all the same cars. I don't see no regular treasure hunt. What case is this? P case. A case. P case. Yeah. Let's go check out the all. So the all has pretty much the same main lines. Uh, I don't see any of the Mini Cooper matchboxes over here. They do have the Porsches though. Uh, let's see, they do have some neon speeders. Is this the new one? Uh, no, but those are the new ones right there. Okay. 
So like somebody had a change of mind. I need a few of them because I want to open up a set of them. And I was missing. Let's see. I was definitely missing the Skyline. And let's see what else. I'm missing the RX-7 and the 350Z. That's when I first saw them at the store, I just grabbed, you know, the hype ones right quick just to make sure I got those. But I went back to the store uh, sometime this evening and uh, they didn't really have no more left at that location. So, yeah, well. Right, y'all, Walmart stop number two of the night and they have some more neon speeders over here. And they also have some more of the uh, Mini Cooper matchboxes. Uh, I don't think we've seen this color. The last stop. We've seen these others. So which one is missing? Maybe the Austin van, maybe it is. Righty, y'all. So we are by another Walmart, as y'all see. Uh, this one over here, they have the uh, Matchbox, the little Mini, Mini Cooper series. And uh, this is the car right here that we hadn't seen at the stores. The Austin minivan, 1965. Only got one like that over here, but they got the rest of them. Maybe that's a popular one, maybe not. They do have some neon speeders over here, but it's all the old ones and some Porsches, old as well. So yeah, uh, let's see something different I saw. The only thing I saw was they got a big variety of the uh, M2s right here. Seen the little Bedless 76 Sierra. Definitely gonna pick that one up. And I'm gonna uh, go through this right quick and see what else they got. They always got a lot of them over here. Always got a lot. So let me go through this, see what I could find. And I'll holler back. Alrighty, y'all, what's happening? Let's uh, wrap up this little video. I wanted to show y'all everything I kind of picked up from my little haul. Uh, I do even have a mail call right quick that I want to show y'all before I get to the things I picked up in store. My partner, Hotbox Diecast. Y'all follow him on Instagram. He sent me this uh, Skyline Monsters truck. I had found one in Memphis when I went out of town. So me and the boy got one loose. But, uh, we got one card in here to keep one card and hanging on the wall. And he also sent me these two right here as well. This is the 1970 Dodge Hemi Challenger. This is a Walgreens exclusive. Uh, looks like we're in a national card as well. The only one I have in the collection, so I'm going to keep this one carded. And he also sent me this 67 Chevy C10 which is the only one I have in the collection as well. I think we can find these in probably like at O'Reilly's and Walgreens. There's the two places I've seen these 55 uh, anniversary cars at. So if y'all got uh, those two in your area, go hit up those two locations, Walgreens and O'Reilly's. So I might get lucky and find these two because uh, I didn't. I never found them out here nor out of town. So luckily my partner Hotbox, Doc Cass, he's something of these two. So uh, some of these three now, so they, Got these in the collector to enjoy now. So uh, let's jump to the things that I found in store right quick. Uh, we're gonna start off with these two regular treasure hunts right here. I think I found this Mad Fast at a, I believe it was a dollar store. I believe it was a dollar store. I could be wrong. But I know this Dodge Ram I found at a Walmart along with those uh, mainline 510, those wagons. So, uh, Probably the second time I've ever seen the Mad Fast in stores. Maybe the second or third time I ever found a regular treasure hunt for the Dodge Ram. Definitely two of them that you gotta get in the collection. Definitely the Ram. Not too much of a fantasy type car person, but I'll pick up a fantasy treasure hunt to, uh, you know, some good trade beat. Let's see, next uh, I found these two uh, uh, square bodies, Is the bedless. 76 GMC with the Nas livery. Messed up little box right there. I also found the, uh, the Sweetheart 73 Chevy Cheyenne. And, uh, I was lucky enough to find more than one of these little Sweethearts and I uh, cracked one open. So I get to put this in the collection of my other square body trucks. 
I'm gonna show you all my little keys in the end of the video. I'm gonna place this little truck in there with all the other ones. Hopefully I can get this camera to focus so y'all can get a little view on this truck. I know a lot of y'all keep these carded so that'll be the first time you get to see this little truck close up. Very nice little truck. I like the tires on it, like the front wheels, like the bed. Definitely like the tire, I like that tub loop. And it's got the white letters on it too. And I like the wheels. Kind of remind me of some Z06 wheels. And lastly, I found some heat, y'all. The neon speeders, y'all. Messing around and found the whole set too. But that night when I found them, I only had bought, oof, I think I just bought these three. Cause I ain't had my card on me, so I had a little couple dollars on me, so I couldn't buy the whole set. Then I went back the next day, and I bought what I think it was these, you know, these three maybe. And uh, I'm still missing the RX-7 and the uh, Nissan 350Z. So I had never found those in the store when I doubled back after the fact. But hey, it's all good. I'm gonna open up the ones for y'all that I did find in store. So you can check them out a little bit closer. If I do run into those other two, by the time now my next video drop, I'm gonna open that one for y'all on, uh, on the next one. So with that being said, let's uh, jump right into it. I think we're gonna do this in just a regular speed. Uh, I'm not gonna do a time lapse today. So uh, let's start off with the Nissan Skyline 2000 GTR. And this uh, hideous looking little pink Pepto Dismo Laffy Taffy looking color. I'm really not fond of this one. But I gotta buy a set for y'all folks, man, so y'all can see this new stuff that's dropping. And uh, I'm gonna try to stick to cracking open things for y'all, man. I like the deck on the front and rear, that's for sure. Nice little details on there. All right, next up, we're gonna do the 95 Mitsubishi Eclipse. Ooh, that was open real easy. Check that out. Very nice. I'm really not fond of this color splash crap that they got going on with these neon speeders, bro. I wish I would've just kept it basic. Just maybe the loud colors, but all this graphic stuff y'all got going on uh, I ain't feeling that like look at this it just don't even make any sense to me you got it on the hood roof the door the quarter panel y'all should just let the car green that's just my opinion y'all should have just let the car solid green put a little couple of stickers here and there of some brands that y'all got performance wise on the car and be done with that but no you have to do all this extra crap. But I do like the front end of this one, bro. With the lights like that, I just kind of noticed that. That look good, bro. I like that. I like that. It kind of like some Lego pieces. <laughs> Next up, we're going to do the 2001 Acura Integra. Let's I like the front end of these Integras and that intercooler, but I just noticed that, like that little shine on there. With them lights on these Integras, man, they look so good when they detailed like that. That's a nice little front end on them cars. Look for real. That car would have been fired just all black. Maybe a little couple orange accents here and there, some kind of stripe at the bottom, just on the rocker panel. I'd have done some subtle stuff like that. But hey, I ain't Mattel, nor my Hot Wheels, so they're gonna do what they do. So let's crack open this S2000 while I'm rambling on. Check this dog close up. I like the front end of them S2000s too. They look pretty big. And the back end. I'm an S2000 type fan, me personally. And I like them with them hard tops on it too. I'm not a convertible person, bro. I like me a hard top or a little target top. That's all I need. 
I don't need the whole roof missing. Or oh, T-top, I really like that. T-top and target top, that's my thing, dude. Let's see, lastly, we're gonna open up this 510, which is probably the most popular one out of this whole set. Probably the only car that will, that's definitely gonna be missing from the pigs. I was surprised that I had found these that night. It's all about timing, folks. You can hunt early in the morning, late at night. So say you get a, the, the insight on the drops, blah, blah, blah. It's all about timing, yo. It's all about timing. Yeah. So that's my little haul, yo. Uh, didn't find too much in this video, but I found the neon speeders and I felt that was, that was hype enough for me. So yeah, that's my little video, folks. Hope y'all like my little haul and my mail call. Hope y'all get some luck and run into these neon speeders like I did as well. Hopefully y'all find the complete set or buy the complete set when y'all find it. Don't do like me and have not enough have enough cash on you and you're only able to buy three or four. No. Keep your card on you so when you find the stuff you like, you can buy it. Till next video, folks, we're gonna holler.